Hi there folks, today I'm going to show you how you can silently install iTunes without having to provide any user input. This is a wonderful little trick if you're looking to deploy iTunes on multiple PCs in your organization. First thing you're going to do is go into the root of your C drive and then create a folder called iTunes. And then open up your internet browser and go into iTunes.com. Once you're on the website, go ahead and click on download and then click on download one more time and save the install file on the iTunes folder that we created earlier. In my case, I've already downloaded it. I'm just going to drag it to the folder. Extract the setup file to the same location. Once that's completed, go ahead and take a look at the contents of the folder. These are all the applications that get installed on your computer when you install iTunes. In our case, we will pick and choose what we want because we don't really need everything on this list. Ne next thing we're going to do is create the bat script that will silently install iTunes on your computer. To create the bat script, go ahead and open up Notepad and then copy the code that's located in the description of the video and then paste it on the Notepad document that you just opened up. Uh, go ahead and click on file and then save as locate the iTunes folder that we created on the root of the C drive uh, call the file name as iTunes bat and save the um, type as all files click on save Now, before I run the bat script to install iTunes on my computer, I would like to show you that I do not have iTunes already installed on this computer. As you can see, iTunes is not on this list. Now, I'm going to go ahead and right click on the bat script and then run as administrator. As you can see, it's installing in the background. I will fast forward the video um, uh, until the installation is complete. There you go guys, iTunes is uh, now installed. I uh, would just like to prove that to you. Uh, search for Apple. There it is. It has successfully installed uh, and created a desktop icon here as well. Anyways, that wraps up my tutorial for today. Hopefully it was helpful. Um, if you do have any questions, please leave it in the comment section below. And uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, see you in the next one. Thank you.